Hey everyone, Redneck Brian here. Okay, the time has come to start rebuilding this opposed twin engine. This is the 18.5 block, completely stripped down. I uh, tore it down last night. But before I do that, I am going to clean up this disgrace of a workbench I have here. It's pretty bad. There's parts, there's junk parts, there's junk carburetors, there's junk starters, ear protection, which I should be wearing whenever I uh, run stuff. I got a seat belt right there. Um, it's supposed to be going on the red rocket, but I don't know if it's that would be a good idea or not anymore, considering the way I drive it. But um, that's what I'm at today. I gotta get the valves out of this engine, and I gotta get this block cleaned up. So that's my next step is to pull the pull the valves. But I want to get the workbench cleaned off so I can actually use the workbench finally. It's been a while since I've been able to use this workbench because I got this section here that I can do quite a bit of work in. A little bit limited because of this cupboard here. I don't really want to move this cupboard. It's a pain in the butt to move. And I have this area over here, but I'd like to stick that uh, one generator I have with the Subaru engine. I'd like to set it right up in here. So I can uh, work on the carburetor and I can hang a gas gas tank from here just underneath my TV. So I know he's probably saying, well, that's not really safe hanging a gas tank underneath a TV. It should be okay as long as you don't. Uh, spill the gas and the TV's not even plugged in it's not even don't have a receiver in here right now as far as I know that TV does work uh, it's been a while since I've tried it it stays out here year round and it does get cold in here in the winter and so on and so forth and another thing I am thinking about finally putting in my air conditioner I have an air conditioner but it's it's kind of not that good so I'm going to go talk to my neighbor who I got it from he has a couple other ones and I'm going to see about getting a different one and it's going to go between that stud there and that stud over there. Basically the stud where the light is will be taken out or will be cut down. I don't got to really worry about any support issues. Got a great big uh, 2x6 right up there. That's my um, my gable end wall. So that's holding my roof. That's a non-load bearing wall. But of being a non-load bearing wall you can't take it out without the whole thing coming down. You take a couple studs out, you'll be alright, as long as um, you don't take out both at the same time, both ends, it'll be fine. Because uh, the front wall and the back wall, they would probably collapse quite quickly if you were to take all the studs out in the middle, obviously. So anyways, I might end up putting in my air conditioner. I have a uh, direct line 15 amp breaker that the compressor uses. So basically, as long as the compressor doesn't kick on when the air conditioner is on, or if, as long as the air conditioner is on low, it should be okay. I know it should be a 20 amp, but uh, when I was running the line out here, I wasn't even thinking I used uh, 14.2. So, or sorry, 14.2 for this. Uh, I believe 12 or 14.2, 14.3 for the other line. I, I forget what it is offhand now. So, anyways, um, a little bit underpowered out here. But back to this block. Um, I'm gonna have to get new head gaskets. I was hoping I could pull this apart without yanking the heads, but it's not happening. It wasn't going to happen. The uh, crank kept on hitting the connecting rods. So there it is right here. It's clean. Re relatively clean inside. It's a good block. I still got to strip down the other one to see if my idea will work. I'm still going off of I'm hoping that it will work because the blocks look the same. But that one there is still fully together. Still has a flywheel. Still has um, the stator which I don't know if that stator is any good or not so I got that stator there and I got another one behind me on the shelf that is brand new that should work uh, most likely going to swap the crank because everyone's saying you should swap the crank because the oil passages through the crank are different so but the blocks seem to be seem to be the same so I'm going off of that yes the blocks are the same and uh, yeah that's pretty much it the only main difference is this here has this little screen right here. This here has a hole. I don't know what the difference is with that, but other than that, the blocks are the same. Um, that to me looks like it had more oil passages, but I don't know if this is a screen which is pumping oil through or what. It doesn't really seem like it. it seems like it's gasket material. It doesn't seem porous at all. And underneath, there's no holes. There's a small hole right there which this one does not have. 
So I, I'm hoping it works. I really hope it does. But uh, yeah, that's the only difference I, I just noticed. These are bolt holes. Or those might be for oil passage. That block doesn't have it. Or sorry, I'm looking at the wrong side of the block. Yeah, I'm looking at the wrong side of the block. Yeah, if you look at this side of the block, they're the same. The same material. My mistake. That's the uh, back cover right there I was looking at. Eh, who cares. But yeah, other than that, they are the same. They are the same then. Um, other than that little hole in the center, which it does actually, it does have it. It's right there. Um, so yeah, the blocks are the same. At least they seem to be as of right now. So, I was just, like I said, I was just looking here at the access panel, not at the uh, sump. So, other than that, uh, that's where I'm at right now. I gotta wait for my neighbor to get home to help me lift that big generator up on to the workbench. So after this project's done, it's the next one to get worked on. I'd like to get it running and then um, see if it has any output. That's the main thing I, I gotta do. I gotta see if it has output because we don't even know if it has that. And if it does, it's a good candidate to be fixed or to figure out something to use it for. I gotta get a gas tank, that's the only thing. But other than that, that's where I'm at for today. So next time I do an update, this workbench will be clean. I should have the valves out of this motor. I gotta mark them, intake exhaust, it's kinda easy, cause the exhaust is a bit smaller than the intake. But um, other than that, that's where I'm at, so stay tuned. Okay. As you can see, my workbench has changed significantly in the last oh, about hour or so. I've completely cleaned it off. I got an old towel. I'm laying it. I laid it down right here just to protect the block, so I'm not banging it around on the uh, particle board top or sorry, OSB top. Here is the crank out of the uh, pressure lubed engine. They are different, like I said, from the bottom half, but the blocks are still the same. I checked the blocks over. I don't want to move the block too much because it's actually in the orientation that the uh, pistons go back in. There's left piston, right piston. So the only thing I was worried about that would be different, I gotta clean this block up still, is there's a little oil passage right down in here. Right there. I was worried that um, I was worried that this block didn't have it because when I saw it on the other block I was worried that this block didn't have it so I quickly checked it, it has it. So here's the junk block and there's my little oil passage right there. So that's on the throttle body side which it's on the throttle body side of this engine as well. So it should be good. Next I'm going to stick this in the parts washer. I'm actually going to release the valves take the valves out and go stick this in the parts washer, clean it up, let it soak for a bit um, get some of this grime off of it then I got some engine cleaner I'll spray it down with engine cleaner and I'd like to get the pistons and the crank back in it tonight so that's my goal for tonight is to get the pistons and crank back in it at least and get the pistons torqued back down but uh, these motors are not fun to tear down um, they're, they're pretty tight inside so as you can see, I got my Subaru up on the workbench as well. Uh, when my neighbor helped me pull the crank out of the sorry, out of this motor, I'll demonstrate on this motor here. Because I had everything taken apart on it. I had both pistons out. These are actually the pistons from the pressure lube motor. They're in better shape than the other pistons. So I'm going to use them. The rings seem to be better as well. Because um, this motor had uh, really good compression whenever before the head gasket blew. It had near perfect compression. So... I'm going to end up using those pistons, so basically I'm going to switch swap parts between both the engines and uh, see what happens. But anyways, um, I got it all torn down, uh, but yeah, back to the Subaru engine, I'm going to pull apart the carburetor on that eventually, rebuild the carb and hopefully try and get that engine running and uh, see, if it got, see if I can get any output out of it. And if I can't get output, um, I'll try and sell the motor separately, pull the generator off, so on and so forth. So anyways, I'm going back to this here, back to the opposed. Um, i got to get the valve covers off next, relieve the valves, take the valves out, or at least get the valves out far enough that I can um, work on the engine better. Um, so I can get the, 
so I can get the uh, lifters so it'll go back all the way in so I can get the crank so I can get the camshaft in it and so on and so forth but uh, other than that the motor looks good um, there's there's no issues with this motor anyways this motor did run just had low compression on the one side so that's also why I'm going to freshen it up a bit with the uh, pistons I found an extra head gasket right up there so I also remember what side I put that on and if I need to get a head gasket for the other side I'll get a head gasket for the other side so that will work out for that I did some servicing on my uh, air tools I oiled them I found some uh, air tool oil got that done today while I was waiting for my neighbor to show up and this uh, did some general shop cleanup okay quick update block is just about back together I am just about ready to clean up the heads I made the mistake by not cleaning them up earlier uh, not a big deal to do them now I I was actually just had the engine turning over by hand with a I put the bolt on it holds the flywheel and it's turning it over with a big ratchet turns over nice and smooth I still got to torque down the uh, rod caps that's not a huge deal I'll do that once I get the heads back on um, I just want to get the top end basically the top end buttoned up and then I'm going to start buttoning up the bottom end uh, tonight I'm going to put the sealant on it and then I'll let the sealant set overnight before I come back tomorrow and do some more work on this so just a quick update on the motor and I just had a little bit, little bit of stuff to clean up here but the, blocks, blo the block itself is pretty good now um, yeah so that's what I'm doing right now it's going to get ready to do the heads so stay tuned okay engine's done uh, as much as done as I can get done before uh, putting the flywheel and all the coverings back on it but uh, here it is I just finished sealing it up I did the sump first went on without any issues at all uh, I did the back cover next one minor issue right here uh, I smeared the cover a bit so it might have smeared the gasket a bit so this is where the starter goes but um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pull the cooler out of the tractor and I'm going to stick this in there as a bare block and I'll start attaching all the stuff to it with it in the tractor. I'm going to put some of the bottom coverings on first if I'm going to run them, I don't even know. Um, these engines seem to run cooler without them so most likely you can go without them. But it turns over pretty good, got no plugs in it right now. Um, I'm going to finish torquing the heads when I get it in to the tractor, it'll be a lot easier. But the block's done. I got the little vacuum line right here that goes to the one the, to the left cylinder valve cover. If you're facing the engine with the engine and the tractor, it's the left cylinder. Get the other valve cover on. I used new sealant on these because, as you saw, they were taken off. So I used the gat red gasket maker. It's a um, uh, red high temp gasket maker. That's what I used on this engine. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't really come with a cap, so I'm gonna have to leave it like that, and it should just dry up at the tip. There's still quite a bit left in there. Stuff wasn't horribly expensive, but I don't really want to waste it. But I have an idea. I still have the other crankshaft, and I got another opposed twin out back. I'm thinking about sticking that crankshaft in the other opposed twin, and maybe attempt to get that engine back up and running. That engine will run. Um, I cannot get the flywheel off, though the, the bolt is absolutely fused on. So I got an extra flywheel now. I got an extra crank bolt everything that that one there's a little bit messed up at the end where the uh, where the uh, pulley bolt bolts in but it will work it still works but um, think about sticking that crankshaft there in the other engine basically I'll have to do exactly the same thing I did to this engine completely tear it down because that engine there actually ran better than this engine here it's just I could not get this bolt right here off the only reason why that's on there is whenever I was cranking it over, making sure everything's working good, I uh, looked through the inspection cover, made sure the governor was working, and it was. So everything seems to be good on this. I'm thinking I should be able to get the fire up Monday. I'm not, Monday's my uh, goal, even though my goal was today just to get the, get the bottom end done and none of the coverings on, and I got the complete engine done. It didn't take nearly as long as I thought. Once I started working on it, I figured might as well continue and get it done. So, because the other engine out back, I almost had it sold, but I told the guy it, it needs work. It doesn't charge. I'm honest. So, anyways, that's where I'm at for now on this. 
I'm hoping I don't got any leaks and I'm hoping this engine stays together um, that's it's crossed my fingers on that that this engine stays together and does not blow up so it's an experiment it's a complete experiment um, I also resealed the oil filter little thingy down there where, where the oil filter attaches to got that all resealed but um, yeah I'm pretty much I'm pretty much done with this block for the night I'm just going to clean up a little bit and uh, I'll talk to everyone later please keep it redneck like always and Please subscribe and comment.